was relieved today upon learning that the country's high court had ruled that influence peddling is not a crime. Essentially, the judges are saying what everybody believes. Raccomandazione, the Italian custom of seeking special treatment from people in power. Who are you reading to? <laughs> of course. Someone who doesn't give a shit. <laughs> God, this agent gets a backstory. Big things are ahead of us. <laughs> She's on duty today. The same, undercover. Yeah, let me have her call you back. Deb, it was your mom. Hey, wasn't that the, what's his name, comedian? Well, something. <laughs> he looked disappointed. Was he waiting for a duck? The damn squirrels eat all that bread I put out for the ducks, or somebody sweep it up. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Will on Ned. That's what that guy looked like. You'll be good now, don't start. You ought to see my finish. <laughs> <laughs> Go in there now and strip down to your shorts. I'm not going to touch that line. Too so much class. <laughs> <laughs> That's for that lovely laugh line. Give me that cheek. Right here. I surrender. Do with me what you will. Okay. <laughs> Would you like to try some kielbasa? Can try farms? Nitrate free. <laughs> you want to say hello to Danielle? Not really. <laughs> I should go anyhow. Tony's still acting all mean. She starts in with my father so I can be compared all negative. Jeez. You never know, I could be on the endangered species list. You are still family, dude. When the fuck have I ever not been there 100%? Whenever you're full of drugs, I think. Mmm, <laughs> we're eating healthy today. <laughs> Green M&M's. I saw Angie Bumpincero today. She was handing out free Polish sausage at the supermarket. Who's gonna support your children? And me! If God forbid something happens to you. That's the point. Sill, Polly. Haven't they discussed that, that already in season... Be taken care of. I don't know, one or two. Just with that line he just said, you'll be taken care of. <laughs> Maybe I could have a Sunday and zone out in front of the friggin' TV. Because, hey, you're right, my job is extremely stressful. <laughs> Your Sunday looks like soup at this point. Everything comes to an end. Love us to friends. <laughs> Why do all good things come to an end? You're wasting fucking ice. Think that shit goes on trees? Ice? No, I, I don't. What are you getting cute with me? I think you're getting a fucking attitude on you. I'm not. What's all this talk about money all of a sudden? Waste it all, fucking John D. Rockefeller! Waste it all! What the fuck? Conserve! <laughs> and you just wasted a whole lot of ice cubes. Shit runs downhill, money goes up. I should not have to be coming here. Hat in my hand. Reminding you about your duty to that man. And I don't want to hear about the fucking economy either! How have they recorded the audio of this scene? It's just bad. Is that what your coach laid out for you as a training breakfast? <laughs> Look in the mirror, dude. <laughs> Water White's crawl space was much more impressive <laughs> than this little hole. It's Rose's birthday and she's very down. Yeah. 
She looks not down at all. Mm -hmm. We're doing 110. Boom! Right through the light. He oh, Janice, putting on such back. a show. For fuck's sake. <laughs> <laughs> At the high handlebars, you know. Who's turn? Don't you got somewhere to be? I gotta hit the little boys one. Do you guys need some help? <laughs> Just sit, Janice. Sit. Really. Oh my god, you're eating. I'm so sorry. I don't worry about Ooh, it. Come on in. Absolutely. Fuck. You want something? No, oh my God, thank you. It's Christopher's cousin, Tony. Tony. How you doing? <laughs> There's a bathroom downstairs. Me, Janice. What are you doing? Nothing. <laughs> okay, come on, come on, come on, come on. I knew it. <laughs> How's Rod doing down there? Very quiet, you know. It's to be expected. They got her on medication. I don't think it's helping. <laughs> well, it keeps her quiet. Oh, come on. What? what are you doing to me here? Oh. Uh. I'm gonna move Bobby up. I think it's a good choice. I wasn't asking, I'm telling. So you know who to talk to. Well, I think we should bring him in here. He's gonna be a very happy man. Move him up to become what exactly? Not boss, I hope. <laughs> How many different hiding spots does he have? Late in the season for ducks, no? Well, not necessarily. You know, the ones from Upper Canada, this is the south of them. <laughs> uh, excuse me? Polly? Am I watching the right season? Or is he in jail? Gun charge. I drove out to visit Lenny Scottis. Don't know if you know Lenny. Him and I used to have that little club down in there. Doesn't matter. Hmm. I'm not a fan of writing like that. Just skipping major developments to set up a new storyline. Where are you girls from? Reykjavik. What are you doing? You'll clean it up. <laughs> <laughs> Good one, boss. Uh, yo. Yeah. Let's go. And they killed your father, detective, lieutenant, and the Clifton Police Force. Retired today. Uh, they waited all these years for him to retire? How come he's still fucking walking? Because he's been useful. But he's outlived it. As of his cute little ceremony this afternoon. Mm, not really a good decision to tell him that after that weird party with the stewardesses. So you, uh... Mentally prepared for this promotion? Oh, yeah. I really went downhill after the World Trade Center. You know, Quasimodo predicted all this. <laughs> Who did what? All these problems, the Middle East, the end of the world. <laughs> Maybe you should reconsider. <laughs> oh, well, it's not Tony's call. You don't want a cop kill on your head! You're retired, dude. I'm sorry. What are you gonna do? What's the charge, officer? Speeding. Typical suicide. Except you shot him twice, dude. And apparently one of those bullets hit his ass. <laughs> the feds had an undercover agent in Dr. Shrek's office. Must have been that piece of tail. What could she hear? You better hope nothing, because you were involved in every fucking one. How could you fall for that flirty shit? That's the point. Um, says you. That empty garage over on uh, Freeland Heights on Avenue. You've been trying to sell it. I'll take it off your hands. How much? Hundred thousand. That's an expensive garage. <laughs> A friend of mine. Stood out of the can and in charge. Living in Florida till he was 81 years old because he only gave orders to his son. So let's put AJ in charge? His son? No, <laughs> not AJ. <laughs> Jesus, is that his real father? He looks just like him.
<laughs> what the fuck? 